Okay, Damien, tell me, what are you doing right now? Just waiting for a ladybug. A ladybug? Yeah. Do we do this every year? Yeah. Yeah, every year it's spring, our backyard, which is still a mess, we haven't finished the yard work. Uh, during the spring, we get tons and tons of ladybugs. And it's been a tradition that we do every year. And Damien just found one, so he's really excited and he wants to look for more. But I told him to wait because in the next couple weeks, the grass is probably going to be like over a foot tall because that's what always happens. And then we get tons of ladybugs everywhere. But I got a little jar, there's some aphids, and I found a little ladybug larva. Where's the ladybug that you saw? I saw on some glass. Where? It was walking on some glass up. But where's the grass? Oh, you got some aphids too? Let me see. Mm -hmm. I can't see. It's oh, you do. Do you want to put them in the jar? Yeah. Okay. And then put that cup in the sink because that's not an outside cup. Good job. Some aphids. And why do we have aphids? Because we're we have getting two cups. Ladybugs. He brought two cups outside. Because put them in the sink, Damien. If I found the caterpillar. Here. Okay, well, I have a lid with a screen that can go on this. What did you say? It's a good journey. So that's your journey right now, ladybug hunt? Okay. So we usually find the little ladybugs crawling on these boards, and I just found. A little baby lizard. It's so cold out right now that it doesn't have the energy to run away. But I love these little guys. Look how cute. Aww. Damien loves lizards. Mm -hmm. Last year we had a couple and what were their names? I forgot. Uh, one was Dragonite and I can't remember the other. Dragonite's last evolution. <laughs> no. But so we found a little lizard. I'm going to name it Dragonite. I wonder how you came up with that. Because, oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's my caterpillar. Yeah. Look, it's walking into the metal screen. Yeah, my camera doesn't want to focus today. That's because it just started spleen. And what is it doing, Damien? It's walking. Walking? Is it looking for food? Yeah, it's looking for more aphids in there. Yeah. Let's get more aphids for it. No, it has plenty. Okay, that's enough for it, white. Yeah, there's lots in there. If we put too many, the little aphids could crawl out of the screen. Oh, yeah. And then, right now, we've just got the little lizard in a cup. I'm going to find something to put it in. But for now, he's just chilling. So I found one of our 10 gallon fish tanks from a while ago and I've put some dirt in it. And I have it in the sun right now because the dirt is kind of cold and damp because we've had a lot of rain lately. And then we're eventually gonna let Damien keep it in his room. Hi, Raja. Mm -hmm. And he's really excited about that. Yeah. I have to go to Walmart later. Maybe while we're there, I could see if they have any cute little lizard things and I'm gonna buy a little heat lamp on Amazon because I found a couple cheap ones and we're gonna go with it this year because we always catch them but I think we're gonna be a little better with it this year what do you think? Deal. Deal? What I are you staring at? I want my caterpillar to be with my uh, lizard. Well the lizard might eat the caterpillar. Why? Because lizards eat bugs silly. Do they also eat aphids? Uh, I don't think they eat aphids, but they might. It's a little lizard. I know they eat crickets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're about to leave to go to Walmart, and I need to go shopping for some things, and then we're going to look and see if they have any cute things that we could put in the lizard's new house. Yeah. Or in the jar. In the jar. Kind of thing. No, we're going to find some stuff to put in the tank. Is that a good idea? Yeah. 
Okay, we just got home from Walmart. I decided to buy him one of these little critter keepers uh, for his ladybugs this year because we usually just put them in uh, his mason jars. Thought this would be more fun. I got a little dish to put water in for the lizard, except I'm going to put little rocks in there so that the lizard doesn't fall in and get stuck. And then Damien doesn't know. And I'm buying a couple things on Amazon. Um, and one of them is something I've wanted to do for a few years. Um, we used to do this when I was a kid in elementary school. Um, there were these butterfly kits where they send it to you and they send you the food and they send you um, some live caterpillars and you get to feed them and grow them into butterflies and then let them go. And I've wanted to do that with Damien for a long time, so I'm really excited. I'm finally getting it this year. And then I found this other bug catcher thing that has a light and it like draws bugs in at night and then they can't get out and I thought that would be a cool little thing to do. Um, but I still have to set up the uh, terrarium for the lizard right now and I need to buy a little heat lamp for it too. So I gotta get working on that. So I was getting some stuff for the lizard tank and this is that tree that fell on to the house uh, back in December. And the bark on this thing peels right off. So I thought this would be perfect um, to break some off to put in the tank for the lizard to hide under. And I pulled this one out and look at this. There are these two bugs in it that have like burrowed holes. And I don't know what kind of bugs these are. I'm a, I'm a big bug enthusiast, but I- I'm looking for those. I've never, look at this. How cool are these? I don't know what these are. I've never seen them before. Wow. But they like, are they alive? Are they hibernating? Yeah, they're hibernating. I don't know. This is so cool. If they're... anybody knows what these are, let me know. I'm going to try to look it up on my own. <gasps> but ants. you could tell, like, it makes more sense. I'm seeing more of these little burrowed holes. Oh. You mean, you mean knock it off? Yes, there are lots of ants. But yeah, if anybody knows what these bugs are, let me know, because these are really cool. If it helps, we live in San Diego, so Southern California. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is. I don't know if it makes a difference. This is a big tree. Okay, it's a big tree, if that helps. So yeah, let me know. Feel like. Okay, oh, focus. Okay, oh, it's not really showing up on camera very well, but they are really, like, shiny, like a metallic, color there's green and there's like a copper color these are so cool mm -hmm. okay just a warning for people to get creeped out i'm gonna use my microscope <laughs> so if you want to skip ahead but i haven't looked at it yet to see what it looks like with the microscope yeah do you see all those colors the green and the orange. Did just move by itself? No, I actually bumped the plate. I made it move. But look at how shiny. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of metallic colors under this. Wow. Let me flip it over. Okay, let's see. That's the top? Yeah, I don't know. This is a really pretty beetle. It looks like a jewel beetle or something. It's a beetle. Yeah, it's a beetle. It's so pretty. A beetle. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up on my computer later. But let me touch it. That's so pretty. Okay, so this is... Whoops, 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 whoops. Whoa. He is very energetic now. Hi, Bagheera. He was trying so to... So this is the tank right now. The rock is wet because I put it in some warm water for the lizard. Oops. Oh, there he goes. Um, I just put a cardboard tube in there for now. Do you need a lid on it? No, it doesn't need a lid because he can't get out. I'm going to be ordering a little heat lamp and I'm going to be buying some more um, appropriate things for the lizard. And he has his little water dish and he has plenty of loose dirt to bury himself in. Like I said, the rock was in warm water to help him. This is a uh, the piece of bark where I found those bugs. Yeah, but I also got to touch one of them. Oh, hey Bagheera. I didn't expect that to happen. No, he was just in the backyard. 
Maybe it needs a lid to protect it from the kitties. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. That's the Dragonite. I named it Dragonite by the Wizard. That was a name for it. No, that's a good name. <laughs> Even though we already had one named Dragonite before. I let it go. Oh, but why? Because we didn't have all the right stuff to take care of it. Oh, well, now we do. Yeah. To take care. We have to keep it. Lizards are friends, not food. Yeah. Bagheera likes to bring in the big lizards during the summer. The big uh, blue belly lizards. Yeah, that. Yeah. Blue belly lizard. Yeah, those are cool, huh? That's a blue belly on it. No, this one doesn't have a blue belly. Oh, here's a little, oops, where'd it go? Ant. There it is. Little ant. Get out. No, it's fine. Get the ant out. But yeah. Dude, what do you think? Ants. I don't know if they eat ants, but I know they eat crickets and other little bugs. Are you excited? Do you like your new little pet? Uh -huh. You don't sound excited. I, I am excited now! Oh, okay. Okay, come then. All right, we're going to let him go so he can check out the tank, and you and I can go out in the other room. Okay. okay bye, wizard. Bye, wizard. Okay, little update. From what I can tell, they are called metallic wood boring beetles. Um, not the most creative name, but I haven't read much about them yet, but I'm wondering if there's more, because I think these things are really cool looking. Here's Bagheera hanging out with us again, trying to see what we're doing. You brought your chair out? Yeah. I haven't found any others. I've been peeling away, and I think I just got lucky by finding two in that one spot right next to each other. But they are really cool. Can you peel more? It sounded yeah. like four. Yeah. I found a little hole right there. Oops, I wasn't aiming. And one there, and I even found one here on the outside. Oh, and there's another one. These little holes are everywhere. Maybe those and then we've got like a little ant colony maybe. living in this tree too. Maybe those are what kill that tree. Maybe. Those wood board beetles. Yeah. Those metallic board beetles. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, it's the next day and we found some more uh, ladybugs and aphids. Oh, oh come on, focus. No. Give me a second, let me go to a shadier spot. Oh, okay. Larva. Uh, yeah, there's a ladybug larva. Focus, focus. Oh, and it's eating, there we go. And it's eating an aphid right now. Maybe if I move to the light. Now that it's focused. Maybe not, but we have some little aphids in there and we have some little ladybug larvas. And Damien's really excited. So we're gonna see if we could find some more. And in just a couple weeks, okay, well don't get all of them, we need to save some. In just a couple weeks, this backyard's just gonna be riddled with hundreds of ladybugs. 